it might be years before we actually see a single new unit built. Councillors at City Hall continue to discuss the best way to move forward on the housing strategy. This follows several days of consultation together with a rally on Thursday, which saw over 100 people gather on the steps of City Hall to voice their concerns. We all agree that housing and housing for Calgarians is important. I think, you know, where we diverge is what is the best, best path forward. And uh, we will exercise um, an act of democracy today and go through uh, voting on a bunch of amendments and then ultimately moving on to the strategy and we will decide how we go from there. The City of Calgary is proposing a housing strategy that incorporates 80 recommendations from the Housing and Affordability Task Force with some previously council approved actions. Among those those recommendations is a proposal to change the base residential zoning district to include more housing types. To permit construction for single-family homes as well as duplexes, row houses and multi-family buildings. Calgary Mayor Jody Gondek shared earlier this week a letter on social media that was sent to her by Federal Housing Minister Sean Fraser saying the city will not receive the housing accelerator fund by the feds if city council doesn't and exclusionary zoning, meaning the city needs to legalize middle housing through new zoning designations. As of now, 60% of Calgary is owned RC1, which allows only a single family home. Chas, who works for a Calgary Homeless Foundation, says it was about time for this problem to be addressed. Legislation with a dead date would be great because we're talking about a crisis right now and so we need to slow down the rate of folks entering into homelessness uh, until we can actually build the housing that people want and need. Throughout Saturday, members of the city's Community Development Committee continued to debate 21 proposed amendments to the strategy. With strategy passing on Saturday, by law will come in effect one month later for implementation no earlier than spring 2024. In Calgary, Silvia Naranjo, City News.